Assalamualaikum and greeting everyone. Welcome to my final year project presentation. I'm Nina Sharida Ismailisa binti Dimahalim, Mahalim, a final year student in Bachelor of Science Honors Biology. The title of my FYP is Online Distance Learning During COVID-19 Pandemic, Changes in Sleep Pattern and Sleep Quality Among Final Year University Students in University Technology Mara Jenka Campus. I'm supervised by my lecturer, Ms. Wanur Ainam binti Baharudin. First, let's begin with introduction, which consists of background of study, problem statement, significance of study, and objective of study. COVID-19 pandemic has changed the normal life of students, mainly university students, from learning in the class and face-to-face -face teaching into online distance learning, ODL. Students were worried about their studies and academic performances other than their safety from getting infected with COVID-19 viruses. The Ministry of Education Malaysia has decided to implement ODL starting from May 2020 to ensure the continuity of the student education besides to help the university students to graduate on the expected time. Previous recent studies have shown that many students are having changes in sleep habits and poor sleep quality during this COVID-19 pandemic due to some circumstances. Stress, concern, anxiety, depressive symptoms and sleep disturbances are all being reported as a result of the current COVID-19 pandemic. And according to Romero Blanco et al. 2020, it also leads to poor sleep quality as a consequence of stress and anxiety. Adults including university students are highly likely to have sleep disorders nowadays, but the signs and causes may be different between people. The previous research study noted that university students are adapting to new learning methods during this pandemic, which affects their lifestyle including study time, sleep time, leisure time. There are unprecedented consequences of joining online classes using laptop and smartphone and communicating with lecturers and other students through different platforms have created mental tiredness and lack of motivation among the university students. The specific problem of this research study is the education of their online classes, adaptation to new study environments, and self-discipline with the sleep pattern and sleep quality among university students during COVID-19 pandemic. The students have benefited from this study by knowing the rate of sleep pattern and sleep quality during the past month, which can be either good or poor. The students can study their sleep habits and improve their sleep quality from time to time, referring to the result of this study. In addition, this study is also beneficial to the lecturers as they can prepare effective strategies for online distance learning in order for students to participate more actively in online classes. This study also benefits the society including other researchers as it provides a set of data to the information on the quality of sleep among university students during online distance learning prior to COVID-19 pandemic. The objectives of this study are to examine the impact of online distance learning during COVID-19 pandemic towards the sleep quality of final year university students, to determine the status of sleep pattern, which are sleep quality, sleep latency, sleep duration, sleep efficiency, sleep disturbances, uses of sleep medication, and daytime dysfunction using Pittsburgh Sleep Quality Index, and to investigate the changes of sleep pattern and sleep quality of university students educated with online distance learning during COVID-19 pandemic. Now we move to the literature review first about coronavirus 19 pandemic. This COVID-19 pandemic has affected our normal lives and the rapid rate of infection as well as the high virulence level of the virus caused a high number of cases and total deaths recorded worldwide. According to Ellen Goyu 2020, the first case of COVID-19 in Malaysia was recognized on 25th January 2020 which involved three Chinese tourists who traveled to Singapore before coming to the Malaysia and they had close contact with an infected person in Singapore. Core et al. 2020 stated that the Malaysian government has agreed to enforce a National Movement Control Order MCO, from 18 March 2020 to 31 March 2020 to minimize the infection transmission, but new cases continue to rise from time to time after two weeks of implementation of the MCO. Therefore, the MCO was extended from 1 April until 28 April 2020. Now, we're still living under MCO because the COVID-19 cases in Malaysia are rising and falling. Second, about COVID-19 effects on education. According to Hodges et al. 2020, in the United States, many face-to-face -face classes, including classes that require the use of laboratories, tools, and equipment, have been cancelled and changed to online classes in order to prevent the spread of COVID-19 through close contact. Adnan and Anwar 2020 argued that online learning in Pakistan is ineffective unlike other developing countries because most of the students lack access to high-speed internet connections and have limited access to online contents even if they have smartphones. The researchers also stated that students who participated in the survey 
prefer to learn in standard classes over online classes as the students are more motivated to learn and can participate more active, actively during regular classes. Nice about Pittsburgh Sleep Quality Index PSQI. In most of the research studies, the researchers measure the sleep pattern and sleep quality of people with sleep problems using Pittsburgh Sleep Quality Index. According to his et al. 2017, PSQI consists of 19 items and 7 clinically re relevant components of sleep, which are subjective sleep quality, sleep latency, sleep duration, sleep efficiency, sleep disturbances, use of sleep medication, and daytime dysfunction. The researchers stated that the addition of single scores from the 7 components in which each component scores from 0 to 3 points can determine the global score of overall sleep quality which can range from 0 to 21 points. Marley Adel 2020 stated that PSQI global score more than 5 indicate poor sleep quality meanwhile scores less than 5 means that the participants have a good sleep quality. Next about changes in sleep pattern and sleep quality, Romero Blanco et al. 2020 mentioned that staying at home during pandemic had allowed students to adapt to new routines since the morning classes that they have been attending is not the same with the normal classes before the pandemic. Salini, Sunal, Mioni and Costa 2020 stated that the sleep quality of the university students were getting worse because close to bedtime hour, more time is spent in bed and on digital devices like smartphones, which delay their sleep and wake up later than before. The results of a PSQI questionnaire study by Marley et al. 2020 about student sleep quality and sleep pattern indicated that the students had increased in bedtime hours, sleep latency, and wake up time between before and during COVID-19 pandemic. So now methodology. For materials, the online survey was included with Pittsburgh Sleep Quality Index questionnaire set. All qualified participants were invited to answer the questionnaire by sending them a link to assess the Google Form survey through WhatsApp or Telegram. For methods, 72 subjects were recruited among the final year university students of UITM Jacob campus based on the inclusion and exclusion criteria. The concerns were taken for their participation before proceeding to answer the survey questionnaire. The online questionnaires were distributed to the university students through WhatsApp. The data on the demographic profile, the hours spent in online learning, screen time after waking up and before going to bed were collected. Then, the Pittsburgh Sleep Quality Index was scored by the subjects to examine the sleep pattern and sleep quality. Data was collected and analyzed using SPSS version 26. The PSQI global score of each participant was calculated manually. The sample size of this study was calculated using sample size formula in which a 95% confidence level and 10% margin of error are used. Out of 5,876 total students in UITM Jinko campus, 1,445 are final year students. Based on statistics on sample size calculation, 72 subjects were recruited. The calculation is as shown. Next, we move to the result and discussion. A total of 72 valid responses were received during the survey and there were no exclusion criteria among the participants. The results show that 65.3% of students spend an average of 5 to 8 hours on online learning per day. 43.1% of the students spend more than 1 hour on the screen after waking up in the morning. 56.9% of students spend more than 1 hour on the screen before falling asleep at night. And most of them also went to bed late, had less sleep hours per night, and had fairly poor sleep quality with the mean PSQI global score of 8.47. PSQI global score is 5 or less than 5 indicates a good sleep quality. Meanwhile, PSQI global score greater than 5 indicates poor sleep quality. Based on the results, 23.6% of participants were classified as good sleepers and 76.4% of participants were classified as poor sleepers. So, we all know that regarding online learning during COVID-19 pandemic, one of the affected aspects among uh, students were their sleep pattern and sleep quality. Online learning required more participation and commitment from students for it to become as effective as face-to-face -face learning. The classes were scheduled not different from the normal classes before online learning started. However, the time spent on online learning was dependent on the willingness of the students. In relation to online learning, the use of uh, smartphones and laptops among students also were controlled by their needs and desires. According to Christensen's et al. 2016, longer average screen time around bedtime was linked to shorter sleep duration, greater sleep onset latency, and lower sleep efficiency, all of which result in poor sleep quality. A comparison was made between three groups of uh, different time spent on online learning to compare the PSQI global score. The results obtained have shown that there were no obvious differences between the mean global score of the three groups 
It can be said that online learning during this pandemic itself has made the sleep quality of final year university students become worse from time to time. A study by Marley et al. 2020 showed uh, that between before and during the COVID-19 pandemic, the students' bedtime hours, sleep latency, and wake-up time all increases. Lastly, conclusion and recommendation. In conclusion, the sleep patterns and sleep quality of final year university students in UITM Jigger campus could be obtained through the Pittsburgh Sleep Quality Index questionnaire. The status of seven components of PSQI have shown that online learning during COVID-19 pandemic gave impact on the worsened sleep quality of students. Majority of students got PSQI global score of more than five, which indicated that most of them were poor sleepers. The different time spent on online learning did not greatly affect the sleep quality of the students. However, the screen time uh, before sleeping during night seemed to be related to the sleep pattern and sleep quality. The adapt adaptability to change environments, unwillingness, stress, anxiety, and lack of motivation among students due to online learning at home were some of the factors of the sleep patterns and poor sleep quality. For recommendation, to observe any difference between the patterns of sleep a comparative study can be conducted to see the obvious changes of sleep pattern and sleep quality among university students before and during COVID-19 pandemic. As for the future recommendation, it is suggested uh, to widen the scope of this study to a larger sample size. Then an addition of a focus group also can be performed for example among the lecturers as they also may be um, impacted from this online distance learning. So that's all for my final project presentation. With that, I thank you.